We want you to get in on the action. Pull up a chair, friends. This is going to be a good one. We don't pull any punches. Get over yourself. <laughs> and neither should you. Let's be real. Love it, hate it, we want to hear it. Do you agree with us? Do you not? We love it when you don't, by the way. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, by text or email. That's what the opportunity of social media presents to us. Dive into our debates because your voice drives our conversations. That is real talk. Giddy up. Let's go. for roles and sci-fi hits. She played Lois Lane in Smallville, and he was Dr. Daniel Jackson in Stargate SG-1. All right, well, now they are starring together as on-again and off-again lovers and adrenaline-seeking surgeons on the supernatural medical drama Saving Hope. Take a look. Stay back. Slow and steady, right? Right. Slow and steady. Zach! Uh, uh, Alex, you're back. Whoa. What do we got? 32-year-old female penetrating chest wound with blood trauma from a car crash. Did you find her on scene? We arrived at the same time. On three, one, two, I three. Can't I can't breathe. Here's the on all of the details on Saving Hope season four premiere are Erica Durant and Michael Shanks. Welcome. First of all, a huge congratulations on upcoming season three, uh, which is very, very exciting. On the upcoming season, season four, I believe. Correct? I know, we're coming back again. Which is, <laughs> you're back. <laughs> you're back. <laughs> so what's interesting is that, Erica, you were experiencing a little bit of life imitating art, imitating life, because your character was pregnant, you were also pregnant in real life, and now Alex is dealing with going back to work after mat leave, so are you. So let's see, how has this all played out on set, off set, with you juggling these two very interesting roles at the same time? You know, it's been a little bit crazy, it's really surreal, and I just it just never stops, and I just didn't realize how much you can accomplish with very little sleep and continue working. <laughs> <laughs> I might ask Mike, I might not be that pleasant to be around at, at work, She's but... She's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Now, I know you're a dad. We were saying you're a dad of three. And have you actually been tapped yet for any babysitting duties on set? No, not yet. Not with, with hers, anyway. But we have... Excuse me, I just spit all over myself. That was great. Oh. That was awesome. You're in um, Yeah. I, I, Carrie, wipe, wipe me, because you know how to wipe babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, no, she hasn't hit me up for that. But we have, we have our own, like, brood of children that run through our sets. So we've been kind of, like, taking turns looking after them. So. And Eric, if I may, how old is your little guy now? He's seven and a half months. Seven uh, and a half months. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't oh even. Oh, my can't. goodness. Yeah. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh. He's really little there. Oh, Look at those chubby oh, little hands. That's too cute. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Every time I see newborns, it does things to me. It's not good. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this show. And season three ended. I mean, there's a lot of, obviously, death in the show because it's dealing with a hospital. And sometimes in the show, people who die sort of come back in ghost form. But season three ended with a, a, quite a shocking death. I dare say a kind of Game of Thrones level of death shock. So are, <laughs> can we expect that kind of uh, types of shocks in the, in the new, new season? Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? You know what I, I like about this season is that you're, you're seeing that some of the ghosts aren't always all well-meaning. So there's a little bit more malevol malevolence coming in. And of course, Michael deals with that a lot more than I do. But um, it's, it's, another, it's another angle to be playing. And so it's a little bit more, it's a little bit darker. I think we also nice. proved, though, with, with the death of, of the Joel character that, that nobody's entirely safe, too, which gives, you know, there's, there's shows that you can sort of like, you know, if you stay down there and kind of keep it really nice and safe and on the QT, there's no stakes. And when you introduce that concept that, you know, any time anybody could go, well, except for you, probably. But anyway, <laughs> anybody could go. That that uh, you know, every situation has urgency to it. If it's if if you don't believe anyone is going to die or or is in je true jeopardy, then it's not really dramatic. So mm. now I know you slid it in there, but I am going to say it again, and I want to forewarn everyone. There's a spoiler alert here because although you slid it out, there was the shocking death of Dr. Joel Gorin, which was a big deal. That was played, of course, by Daniel Gillies. It was shocking. It was very it shocking. Was shocking. I was watching because I didn't know. Uh, well, I knew that he was dying, but I didn't know how they were going to do it. And uh, so I was watching it with my husband way after it had played. It was a rerun, and we were like, oh, my goodness. He really died. <laughs> he really died. <laughs> but then was what's no the vibe? release. It was... Okay, so then what's the vibe on set then? If you feel that sort of no one's safe and anyone could be in jeopardy, that's got to be an interesting atmosphere. 
Well, I, I think based on that, it was because it was such a shock. I mean, we didn't find out until, I mean, you may have found out a little earlier. We found out the day before the read through mm. that this was going to happen. Wow. And it was, um, you know, a little bit like, what? Like, seriously, this is, this is really going on? And then the way it happened, of course, being as kind of graphic and, mm -hmm. you know, horrendous as it was, you're like, man, like, don't piss off the producers on this. <laughs> thing, so. it's, it's funny, people were coming, coming up to me and being like, Hi, so ha how's it going today, Erica? Everything good? Everything good? I'm like, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not up to me. It's above my pay grade. But people were like, oh, just try to get along with her, will you? Because, <laughs> so. Okay, so there's also there's that dark element to the show, yes. but there's also a lot of, um, I dare say, like sexy times in the show. And Ooh. you two, your characters, have sort of had an on again, off again relationship. And I just want to know, like, what's, what's in store for this season? Are you going to be on again? Well, and off again. No, no. <laughs> no. Um, there's, this is the first time the audience actually gets to see them a little bit in what the happily ever after would be. At least it starts that way. And then as the show progresses, of course, they run into all sorts of obstacles. And there's the, still the, the whole issue of, of paternity and, and, and who is the, the father. And so we're dealing with that as well. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, so uh, Cynthia, I know that they've gotten to know each other very, very well. That's they bring right. that to the test. Okay, a yeah, bit. exactly. So basically, we asked you a couple questions backstage before the show right. um, about each other. So I right now. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're going to be answering. We're going to ask you some questions. You're going to be answering based on what you think your co star said. Okay, okay. okay so you go. Okay, so er I'm going to start with this. Erica, if Michael were to describe your character's relationship using a movie title, using a movie title, oh. what movie would he say? Okay. I kind of have an idea, but I have a twist on it that I think Mike would say that okay. people wouldn't know. Okay, what okay, movie title? Because we, we already talked about it as part of our show anyways. It's Ghost. Yes. Okay, let's see. Is that what Michael said? Yes! yes. Play the part of Patrick Swayze. <laughs> I'd like to see this pottery sculpture scene. <laughs> Wouldn't it be beautiful? It would be beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, so Michael, <laughs> so what pretty. did Erica say her all-time favorite scene to shoot was? Her all-time favorite scene to shoot. Oh boy. Um, oh. No, don't give me a hint. I'll get this. I'll nail the <laughs> crap out of this. I have no idea. Um, her, I know her least favorite. I don't know her favorite one. Um, do you want to? Do you want to give him a hint? hint? It was. Were you eating something? Mm. <laughs> no. Oh, it was one uh, of the love scenes with me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Let's see if that's exactly what it was. Uh, season one. Alex fighting, fighting with, with Charlie. <laughs> what? Is that anticlimactic for you? Alex fighting. That wasn't my favorite scene. Oh. Somebody lied to okay, you. Okay, somebody lied. Okay, all right. Okay, how about this one? We're going to get back on track. Erica, who is the most embarrassing artist on Michael's playlist? Oh, my God. I don't know, embarrassing for whom? Because yeah, I kind of like I, this answer. I really like this answer. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I would say, I would like to, for him to have something like singing to Celine Dion in the shower. Oh, Lovely. we wish. <laughs> More <laughs> like rapping to Kanye. Whoa! <laughs> Kanye West. Oh Kanye West. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Hey, you guys, uh, this has been a ton of fun, and congratulations on the next season. Thank Thanks for stopping by. All right, so Saving Hope, season four. It premieres on CTV's hit Thursday night lineup. That is tonight, tonight at 9 p.m. You can also catch it on CTV Go, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, thought video games were just for kids? The author of Super Better is here to break down the benefits of gaming.